the night at the Royal Menagerie in Alamigo. Did somebody say dragons? <laughs> Damn. Look at them stats, man. He really came back here to relive the glory days? Ah, best friend. When we tussled in this field of flowers. You will never get what you want. Not even the battle you pine for so dearly. He actually, dude, Alize got to him, bro. Your your mental philosophy torn apart by a sixteen year old. Moment. What was it that I sought in you? Stunlocked by a sixteen year old. That's what it must feel like and to be a Fortnite streamer. What was it that you sought in me? Why did I drop Tilted Towers? Says you? Shut the fuck up! Who do you think you are? No, just kidding. <laughs> Hassan. <laughs> Big Hassan logic. <laughs> you just made me laugh like Ms. Kim, dude. <laughs> Xenos is kind of built like a son. Big ass body, little head. Handsome. One track mine. Where'd the memes get? Yeah. How often have we thus assembled? Where's the music? I don't know how to feel. <laughs> Am I sad or happy? <laughs> okay, I'm sad. <laughs> Please tell me my emotion, Sokin. <laughs> to combine our knowledge and seek solutions to the problems before us. Back at the Waking Sands, it was all we could do to address the most minor of troubles. Who could have realized what we'd find when we began to look to the sources of the realm's worlds? At the Rising Stones, we made great strides and shared many moments, from the joyous to the sorrowful. Pray return. We've had occasion to call other places home, too. You know what I noticed? The bad parts of the writing in the early in the earlier expansions made for so many great memories like just reusing the same words over and over again like it just it made for so many good memes and i'm i'm like i am so glad that the game grew the way that it did but to go back and like have such devastation how glib the kick for the fucking self pray return rejoice that that wasn't bad writing though Sloppy. Sloppy wasn't bad writing either. I mean, that that's the same as This is Thancred, right? That's just weebs, us weebs focusing on a little detail and turning it into a giant thing. Throw wide the gates. How very glib. Forward and back and then forward and back. Mamas. Be it Ishgard or Kugane, we were fortunate to find sanctuary wherein we might take stock and continue our fight. You looking at my ass, Catboy? I was honored to host this company in the Crystarium. To stand with you all as we confronted the truth of the star itself. Yeah. And now from this place, we go to fight the most important battle of all.
The Forum has sent word. The Ark is ready. The Loperates naturally will be commanding the vessel. Don't pago them, I they like will spam. See the eight of you to Ultima Thor. I like spam. I grew up in Jersey. The hour has come. Thank you for seven months, Mike. You know what's fucked up? I said Devour is coming, I got hungry. Your objective is to find and vanquish Meteon. As a final formality, the Forum bade me ascertain your resolve. So, are you certain you wish to do this? Lalafell, thumbs up. Do it, do it, do it. Do the thumbs up. Do the thumbs up. Please, do the thumbs up. Don't nod. Thumbs up. Fuck. We are. Why'd she get to talk? Then, ere you report to Thalmasane, I leave you with these words. You must triumph. No pressure. What that means will differ for each of you. To make it back home, or to simply avert doom, or perhaps something else altogether. This is the worst advice ever, Kryle. Like, yes, don't die. <laughs> like, okay, wasn't planning on it. Yet, whatever it is that drives you, I have faith in its power to see you through. So please, triumph. Triumph, as we who remain behind believe you will. I'm gonna win, forehead. Let us be off then. Let us be about about it. Time to make some cash, try to be some primal last. Wait. Gonna go to Median, gonna have a fucking blast. Going to the fucking stars in my fucking Audemars. I'll be chilling. I will be there to see you off, but as your receptionist, I feel I need to say this here. Safe journey, all of you, and oh, be safe. Stop stalling, Tataru. We're leaving now. You can count on it. Later, Stalafell. <laughs> Fuck, man. I, you really like, dude, I know all the jams like note for note. They are so imprinted in my head, man. <laughs> Talk to them. Sorry. Low wider. All present and accounted for. Good. As you will have heard, the Ark is ready. All that remains is to board and be on your way. Oh, I've seen my fair share of tight schedules, but this was bloody murder. 
Sid. Sid's looking good. But we did it. We finished the ship. Damn, look at those silver eyes. It's safe, fit for purpose, and looks good to boot. Aye, it's a garland through and through. I really don't know what we'd do without you. Thank you for everything. I made this smiley face. Ah, oh, don't mention it. Ever since that episode with Omega, I've been toying with the idea of star-faring vessels. Dude, Sid literally came in, painted the ship that the Charlians have been working on for millennia, and went, Ah, oh, look at my beaut. True Garland Ironworks craft here. Yeah. <laughs> Slap the sticker on it. Took credit for the whole fucking thing. I haven't seen this guy in two fucking expansions. He like, like goes through like, ah, oh, yeah, it's me again. <laughs> I haven't seen you since Omega, you asshole. <laughs> Minfilia would be proud, true. Necessity is the mother of invention. What? We've learned a lot, let me tell you. What? Thank you, Hell. In case you're wondering about payment, the ongoing existence of the world ought to do. But feel free to throw in a colorful recounting of your journey on your return. Dude, dude, the one huge Sid, <laughs> Sid shrimp in the chat just goes, well, to be fair, he did the 10% that was completely beyond the Charlians, and it wouldn't have gotten done without it. Like, just instantly, instantly just like, well, they couldn't have built the ship if it wasn't for Sid, so really, it kind of is his. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you thought of It's name? true. Yeah, it's true. Have you thought of the name? father's teeny tiny toy boat well seeing as its purpose has changed I thought a more eloquent name was in order I suggested as much to Fortuno who seemed quite amenable to the idea let's call it Bobby's yacht as you know this vessel is the culmination of heretofore unprecedented collaboration. Honestly, Bobby wouldn't even want that as a yacht unless it had a helipad on it. How am I going to land on it if it doesn't have a helipad? <laughs> and though said collaboration is owed to the Scions, there is another whose noble deeds made our work possible. From a fragment of Dalamud, we obtained not only advanced materials such as refined adamantite, but the knowledge to traverse the stars. And this fragment would not have found its way to us had the Archon Luiswa not fought to protect this world, and in so doing, laid down his life. Now that the vessel stands... Luis Yacht! No, dude. I cannot help but wonder if it was more than mere happenstance. <laughs> Louis Yacht. <laughs> if it was my father's intention to guide us here. Is somebody mod him? In the hopes that his guidance will see you all safely home. I named the vessel after that self-same fragment of Dalamud he delivered unto us. The Starship Ragnarok. Hell yeah.
That's metal as fuck. Is that Final Fantasy VIII the reference? I think we we kind of know that from the video we watched the other day, even though I haven't played FF8. Sorry for the wait. I got everyone you asked for, and not a one less. Gang's all here. Oh, did we have to bring the what sylphs? <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> did we have to bring the sylphs, man? <laughs> Couldn't we leave them? <laughs> the representatives of those tribes with religious inclinations. Oh! Living Way's not racist! ARR, Heavensward, Stormblood. Shadowbringers, Endwalker. It took five expansions to find a single character that was not racist. Did I forget one? Did I forget an expansion? No? Okay. You've done a fine job of readying the Ragnar up, but for it to take flight, we'll of course need the power of the Mother Crystal. Given its immense size, however, transporting it would be an absolute logistical nightmare. Not to mention we'd need to shatter it into tiny shards for feeding to the engines. But a Thanks, brilliant Minnie. idea came to me. We convert the crystal's energy into forms that can transport themselves. Rabbit, you blow my mind. Thou wouldst employ summoning, or should I say, its precursor, creation magics. Uh oh. Uh. Uh. This has always ended poorly! Um. Wait, 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 living way. So we got here in the first place! Care to explain for our benefit? As you may have witnessed at Bestway's Burrow, the Loperids are capable of creation magics, which they use to shape the moon's environment. Yet simple though they make it seem, tis a highly advanced and exacting art. To perform it correctly requireth that the wielder holdeth the object in his mind's eye in clearest detail. Hence the ancients' meticulous management of concepts. Drawing upon this art, the Asians conceived of summoning as we know it. A derivative that replaceth the complexity of concepts with the simplicity of zealotry to make manifest a creation. <laughs> yeah, they took out all the free thought, just used religion. <laughs> what a line, man. <laughs> it's way easier. <laughs> By combining the Yo, thank you, and the tribe's faith, we convert the Mother Crystal into primals of purer form and greater obedience. Man, if they could just get out that tempering, that, that tempering kink. Summoning as it was intended, one might say. Indeed! Indeed! While Hydaelyn gave us the ability to use creation magics, she forbade us from using it to make anything possessed of a soul, or similar. Yeah, what could go wrong if you gave something a soul? 
Is it gonna have an an awkward emo phase when it decides to destroy the entire planet? Nah, that could never happen. about the risk of being turned into a tempered minion. Me too, Alice. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh, right. I was getting to that. From what I've read in Charlie and Tomes, it appears the Asians incorporated an additional nasty element into their summoning method. The fervent desire to assimilate others into one's belief. Yeah, a little nasty. Beings thus created are instilled with the self-same desire and use their powers to enthrall people, starting with the summoner. <laughs> Yo, Koji, do we have to get as political as a Hassan stream up in this bitch right now? <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little tug. Truth be told, I do not understand the intricacies of this plan. But none of us would ever turn our backs on you. When the avatars of our faith ran amok, you intervened without decrying we who birthed them. Man, Toast would have loved that line. Where others vilified and suppressed us, you offered understanding and friendship. Kupo! In gratitude, we will share with you the true expressions of... Oh shit! I'm so sorry, Turtle! Wait, what did he say? Right, you lot, we're heading to the ethereal sea. Stay in sight, else you're liable to get lost. I gotta restart the whole game. What'd he say? Somebody just posted in the chat. I felt a little tug. Dude, I felt a little tug. Did anybody else feel it? I gotta come clean, man. I fucking hate turtles. I've been racist against turtles the whole fucking time. Fuck you and your shell, bitch. What'd he say? Lead the way. It's -a me, a Luigi. All right, let's do this. Devour has come. You don't got to tell me twice, brother. Man's got to do what man's got to do. These guys are my favorite. May we have a moment? Yes, parents of Moon Creed. A man might journey to the stars. We developed these. Space suits? Pokédex? Portable teleportation devices. One for each of you designed to work in tandem. Could have given that to me earlier. What the fuck? That's cool as shit. Press the button on one, and in a matter of moments, all eight will activate and send their owners back to the Ragnarok. Couldn't you have given me plot armor when I was fighting some of the nastiest beings in all of space and time? There is no telling what hazards you may encounter. If you find yourself separated or lost, please do not hesitate to use them. Hey, you never Be asked. Safe, all of you, and come back. It's Quint's logout macro. <laughs> Okay, that's actually pretty fucking good. Yo, Mod Simba, dude, that's actually a good one. <laughs> Oi, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, you as well. I pray you take care. 
<laughs> we call these Chekhov's communicator. <laughs> Looks like everything is in order. So I'll go ahead and board. A few of my fellows will remain to assist with the summonings, but rest assured, the vessel won't want for competent crewing. If you are ready, then you should board as well. Go. And Godspeed. You're tempered, Fortunal. You're tempered. Where is Pudding Way? Oh man, I'm so glad nothing bad is gonna happen. Me too, Fat Matt. We get to hang out with all of our friends and go to space and be happy. My food gets here in 10 minutes. If you would come this way, I will direct you to the bridge. Upon boarding the rack, Ragnarok, several cutscenes will play in sequence. Here we go. Beam me the fuck up. <laughs> Welcome to the bridge, everyone. Dude, fucking army of buddies. Emmy would love this shit. Right then, make yourselves comfortable. We're setting off in just a moment. Let's do it. This is cool as fuck. It's incredible. Yeah. This is Fortuno. Can you hear me? God, yeah, you're too loud, man. Turn audio down, Strummer. The preparations for the summonings are complete. In accordance with the 14th phase of the plan, we have moved the Ragnarok to the launch site. The gates are open. You may depart when ready. Throw them wide, brother! Throw them wide! So, are we ready? Ready check. As ready as we'll ever be. Let's get going. Pog you. Come on, the burnt out star's got more fire in its belly. Fucking mapping, my man. I love these goddamn Lopris. Say it, chat. Yay. Issue the command to launch. Have Alfie do the honors. Alfie, go ahead, man. Me? B but I... Go ahead, man. No need to be coy, brother. Do it, and do it well. Just pretend they're the Crystal interest. Braves. Just pretend they're the Crystal Braves. <clears throat> Onward, unto the distant stars, and beyond! Fuck Ragnarok, engage! Oh, yeah, <gasps> dude! Engage! Engage!
Whoa! Oh my god, dude! Holy shit! Kill everybody? Oh, holy fuck. We're actually using all the fucking... Wait, this is literally from the trailer. What? No shot they actually planned that. Ah, that I must carry landwalkers into the sky. I cannot imagine a greater indignity. There's no way they planned that. No way. Are you kidding me? so. For thy mighty winds exist not only to buffet and batter. Nay, they may serve also to thrust forth with vigor. Such is thy glory, and thus it is an occasion to rejoice! Rejoice, sirs! So yes! Let us revel! Oh, this is too good! <laughs> so long as the wind blows freely, I suppose all is as it should be in creation. Now fall! Damn, that's a camera angle. I will render unto them a storm that they may pierce the firmament and fly free! Yeah, fly free. Damn, did the Titans just dead ass, or did the, the Primals dead ass just go into Pokeball? Dude, that is cool as fuck. Yo, Halcyon Tasty, thank you for those five different subs. I'm smiling so much, my face fucking hurts. Bro, if you guys all stream in the chat, we'll have more fuel. It's like Monsters, Inc. Say, ah! Maybe it's emo only man. Go back to sleep, your voice creeps me out. Thanks to the power of those primals, the engines are roaring and we're ripping along. Ripping along, side grip. All values are also within protected ranges. Time to destination is eight carrots. Perhaps seven at a pinch. Eight carrots, man. I don't got all day. As you know, is Ultima Thule. Lest you wonder, the place is not a star so much as a patch of emptiness. Poggers. That's the extent of what our equipment could determine, anyway. From what we know of Meteon, she's likely used Dynamis to obfuscate her location. 
So, in conclusion, we'll only know what's there when we get there. The crew and I will see to it the ship's ready to take off at a moment's notice. Bro, I bet Median's like a giant, like, crow creature now. I bet she's creepy as fuck. We'll support the search as best we can, but it'll be your paws on the ground, assuming there is any. I just imagine, like, Median sitting there with, like, a Walkman. Like, just a listening to, <laughs> to My Chemical Romance. Just like, bullshit. But everything will be fine, I'm sure. Heidelin believes in you, so you ought to believe in yourselves. Heidelin believed in us. Your mother's dead. Just don't do anything I wouldn't. Like waiting too long to use those portable teleporters of yours. Personally, at the slightest sign of trouble, I'd mash the button to bits. And you should as well. You have flood armor! I don't because I'm a rabbit! Understood. We promise to be careful. I suggest you brace yourselves. We're about to arrive and the vessel will shake a good bit. Shake me up. Uh oh. What is this? You should probably know, that's the- Something is- Oh, interfering with the equipment! God damn it, Medion. Oh my god, are the Loprits gonna Great get- Great taste. Great taste. That's the classic anime shot. The... Greetings. Can you hear me? Oh my god, do you remember me? Medion, do you remember me? So this is Meteon. Oh. Have you met one of my sisters? I don't remember meeting you myself. But I do know that you're from Atheris. Why have you come? All you had to do was wait. I would have delivered to you your ends. That's so sweet. Thank you, Median, but I don't mind the walk. We didn't ask for that. She actually has a face creepier than the smiley face from Twitch chat. Just dead fucking eyes. I don't understand. All life is destined to end. Why choose to prolong your suffering? Because I like eating food and having sex. Effort, ambition, love. They amount to naught. Happiness, should you find it, is inevitably lost. In theory. Stolen away by events beyond your control. There is no logic nor meaning in it. You think there is. Convince yourselves. But it's all a cruel accident. This is like when you think you did a good job parenting your kid. You saved up money, working hard every single day, putting money in their college fund. They go off to school, your adorable child who you love so much. And finally, it's time for them to come home for Thanksgiving dinner. And you're so excited to see your beautiful child who you love so much. And then they just don't shut up. It's like, God, why did I fucking let them read books? It's like, you know, actually, we are in a social construct. It's like, shut the fuck up, bitch. Watch fucking football with me and be cute. 
fucking liberal arts degree bird fuck. <laughs> Come now. I speak the truth. A truth you would recognize if you looked up at the night sky. Unbroken emptiness. Cold, dark, and silent. Your world, like every other, is but a blemish upon its perfect fabric. Life is an anomaly. It is unnatural and cannot continue. The sooner you accept this, the easier it will be. Just to be clear, we're not here to argue with you. Yo, also, why are you rushing it, Median? If you went out to the fucking stars and you saw that everybody dies, just let us die on our own. That is the natural way. You are just like a self-righteous bird bitch. We know that life is fleeting and that in the short time we have it, we're not assured happiness. Indeed. I've seen far more sorrow in the eyes of many I've met. I myself have plenty of regrets. And one day they'll die with me. Gone to dust with my good deeds and unfulfilled dreams. Thancred, stop brooding. Let somebody else talk. Thancred, stop brooding. You're agreeing with the bird girl. Slow down, Thancred. Thancred, slow down. It's like, yes, I too agree with thee. <laughs> Takes out Gunblade. <laughs> God. But we accept this. That our existence may seem pointless. That sorrow, rage, and despair will always dog our heels. Yin and Yang, let Alfie's self-righteousness counter hers. As we thing? press on regardless, that is why Heidlin guided us here. In her boundless love for mankind, she has prepared us for this trial, and in her name, we have come for you. We come for you! In the mountains. Yes. I sense it. A burning passion like unto fury. I know it well. For the same passion once burned in many a star before yours. God, she w Remember how cute she was? She was like, uh, 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 can you hear me? Like, just like that cute little stutter, bright eyes. I don't know, she reminds me of this one streamer I once knew. You know, she started off with that cute little stammer, and all of a sudden just gambling streams all day long, completely devoid of hope. Suffocated uh. and extinguished now. Uh. I... I can't... breathe! You approach the bounds of my ultimatum. Where emotions dictate reality. Where resignation and acceptance unite to embrace the end. Where those who yet valiantly cling to life cannot thrive. Yes, Thancred, go! Did Thancred just save everybody's life? <laughs> By the fury.
My man. Thancred? Meteon is gone as well. Mayhap he awakened first and gave chase. Uh, everyone? It appears we are at our destination. Why would she take him? I'm like worried that she's like a little mini black hole or some shit. And he had like so much passion. And he's like the most, in a lot of ways, like etherically light, right? Is he etherically light? Well, no, he just can't manipulate ether. But his passion was like the strongest. Ah, oh, God. If he got sucked up into a medium black hole, I'm going to be pissed. This, this is Ultima Thule. Dude, mapping way switch gears way too quick. It's like, yes, I know we were all just unconscious on the floor, being completely battered by our very own emotions as the dynamis overcame our minds. And we played a mini horror game where a terrifying bird creature implanted her cruel visage into our mind's eye. We're here. Okay. <laughs> Not that we knew what to expect, but I wasn't expecting this. From atmospheric composition to ambient temperatures, all readings are within permissible range. This place is capable of supporting life. Why? If that's the case, then Thancred may well have gone on ahead. Let's go and have a look. I feel like the next Final Fantasy 14 expansion is going to be Spore. Create your own breed of warriors of Meanwhile, light. I want the rest of you to perform a full inspection of the ship as well as a biological scan. <laughs> Grow to an intergalactic colony of warriors of light. Will you fall victim to the Great Filter? Find out in Final Fantasy XIV. So that the brave wayfarers arrived at last at Dream's End. Yo. In following their path walked, and history written, I am made keenly aware of one truth. Though the curtains may fall again and again, so long as others take the stage, ever shall there be more tales to tell. Whoa. So, let them bring it to a close, I say. Let the curtains fall upon this. The final chapter in the tale of the star. Fuck, we're actually beating it today, man. Is this a dead star? As I live and breathe, I live and breathe. The environment itself shouldn't kill us. No, just everything that lives here. Well then, let us search for Thancred while exploring the area. I feel like this is going to be a very weird quest area, considering that Median has erased life everywhere that it still did exist, even though it had ultimately killed itself. What are the quest mobs going to be that we interact with? Am I just going to pick up rocks the entire time? Am I going to, like, talk to inanimate the objects? we leave in your care. There's nothing for me to kill! <laughs> Which kind of proves Median's point, that the only thing that I enjoy in this game when I walk around an environment is killing shit. Maybe Median is right. Take me, bird. Are you ready? Oh, you guys are the fucking best. You guys are the best. Wait, let me let me run to the door really quick. I think my food's here. Let's get some hearts in the chat for everybody who makes these streams so fucking incredible. Literally, how how long has it been? And still, everybody here making these streams so fucking incredible. Uh, 
I feel so relaxed and safe. Coast Guard that's pissed. That's a real man. The Coast Guard pissed. Sincere, man. Coast Guard what pissed. What a real man. Coast Guard Reel pissed. Reel me in, man. Coast Guard I pissed. I wish I was the guy on your line. Coast Guard pissed. Coast Guard but pissed. instead, I just motherfucking cry. Alone at night, wish I could be your little smooth.